Hey guys, this is Peter, and today I'm taking another look at over-the-air TV, what can be gathered with an antenna. And we're taking a look at three new antennas from Antop. And you know what? The timing on this is perfect. When Antop called me and said, hey, would you like to take another look at some antennas? I said, absolutely, because the timing is just right. And I'll tell you why. You know, things like Lowcast got shut down, and that was something we could stream. It was an app we could run and integrate into our TV environment and get all of our local channels for five bucks a month. That was absolutely great. However, it got shut down. Uh, and then we had, I had YouTube TV and I liked it. It was okay. And I got my local channels over that and it was pretty good. However, now they've just raised their price or we're about to, but as you can see, my plan ends today because $65, it is not worth it. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking, well, I got to watch my football games. I'm going to show you, you can still do it. So uh, you can watch a lot of football as you will see, and you won't be missing much. You know, you the, for those games that are blacked out, you can absolutely head down to the pub. And for $65 a month, you can get a gym membership and hit the pub a couple times. This is crazy, $65 a month. All right, let's go take a look. I'm going to show you this. Go open up a Google page. We need to see what you can possibly get and if it's worth it and how far you have to uh, pull from. And um, you know, so what antenna you need and which direction to point it. Let's grab all that right now. Type in ATSC coverage map. Now this is from the FCC, so go to the one that says FCC.gov. Now this is all allowed by your FCC. In fact, it is protected by the FCC. So go and type in your address. I'm gonna blur it out. This is actually my old address, but it's a place I'm familiar with. So here we go. It'll put a pinpoint on exactly where you live. And that's your first piece of information is over here in the green. How many stations are you likely to pull in? As you'll see, I see about 15, 16 right here. But I said 150. How is that possible? ATSC is digital. And a lot of these stations are broadcasting multiple different channels at the same time. So here we go. Let's take a look at, uh, click on the call letters. So I have Fox. I have PBS, I have CBS, and ABC. Those are my really important ones. And look, they're all at the same spot. They're all in the same direction. The bad part is they're about 45 miles away. So I took a look at th three different solutions. One is their, their big boy antennas, what they call it. It's the AT400BV. And uh, they also have their mini big boy, which is a smaller antenna. Really excited to see if this one would work for me. This one uh, is the AT406, uh, and I have this one as well. And I said, you know what? Send me one that's just 45 miles. So this one is inexpensive. It comes as a pair. You can even get it at Home Depot. It's 53 bucks, uh, but it's not directional. It's not amplified. It's not meant for multiple bands. What do I mean by that? Let's take a quick look here again. UHF, UHF, these ones are easy. All right, that one's going to be tricky. High V is going to be tricky. Ooh, and seven still in high V. And now Cron uh, is also in high V. So that's high VHF. That's a different type of antenna. As you'll see on some of these other ones, look, see those antennas out the side? These are for uh, your VHF cha channels. And the antennas out the side here for VHF. Not so here. So most likely not going to get it with these ones. I'm going to plug them in for you. We're going to take a look at what we can do. And uh, I'm going to show you how you can make this work for you. And the most important part is when you get an antenna and you plug it in, a lot of people do immediately go to the TV part, part and say, I don't get anything. You got to rescan with these TVs. It is a digital connection. So you got to get it to scan for it. I'm going to show you how to scan on, I have a Toshiba and I also have a Samsung. We'll take you through that real quick and show you how to do it. I, I'm thrilled with it. I'm also going to show you in probably in the next video, I'll show you how I put a TV tuner on this. I can share it all over my network. I can record it and I can even skip commercials. That coming up. Hey guys, this is Peter. And today I'm taking a look at, well, terrestrial TV or over the air TV. And I have three different antennas here, and we're going to take a look on my outside TV. I'm going to show you the difference between these. It's really a good example because I live about 45 miles away from San Francisco as the crow flies. And, um, well, we can see what we can pick up with an inexpensive antenna, an indoor antenna, a indoor-outdoor antenna, or a really big antenna. Now, what I'm hoping is going to happen is that I can use this one outdoors and not only bring in TV to one TV set, 
but actually integrate it to my whole experience using some TV tuners. But for now, let's test out the difference and just scan some TV. I have an old TV up here outside. We're going to uh, hook up these antennas to it and see what we can scan for and what we can get. Let's take a look. Knowing where to point the antenna is critically important. And well, knowing that I have to point to San Francisco is good, but not quite good enough. Here, zoom in. So I'm just taking the mouse wheel and giving it a turn. And look, it's gonna go right down to street level and I can find the origin. And there, I can see the house top and I can see the name of the street and the vector goes straight across the cul-de-sac behind me. And I just aim straight for that. And guess what? I'll set up the perfect vector all the way to San Francisco. So that is pretty super. Uh, it's, it's almost foolproof. And it, never before have you had this before. We always had to get up on the roof and go, how does it look now? Well, now we know that two, f nine, well, Fox, PBS. Oh, I forgot NBC. Look at this. Oh, it's almost exactly the same vector. So that's critically important. It's in San Francisco as opposed to South San Francisco. But let's keep that in mind as we go look at this really carefully. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I mean, literally, as my street goes, we're looking at just a sliver of a difference. So it's going to work out perfectly. Let's take a look. All right, well, I'm taking a look at the back of my television here. Yours is probably similar. As you can see, I have my NVIDIA Shield hooked up outside. It's rather nice because now I have all access to all of that. But here, let me just clip on the antenna. You can see how small it is. And the key is, well, we need to plug it into the TV. And one of the inputs, well, we use the antenna input, the one that looks like, well, the old-fashioned one. You screw it in there. And in the middle of this cable... It actually does plug into power, so it can get powered and uh, do some filtering and amplification. So we're going to get that hooked up and do a channel scan. Now, channel scans, depending on your TV, uh, this is what my one inside. This is my Toshiba TV. And you just go over to the wheel and go to the inputs. And one of the inputs is going to be for antenna. And all we're going to do is just do a channel scan. See that one over there? Channel scan. And, picked, uh, uh, and if you pick advanced options, you can make sure it's digital and analog channels. You want to make sure that it's air channels as opposed to cable channels. And it'll go ahead and just do a scan. Now, if you have a different type of TV, let's say, um, well, I had another one over here. This one was um, my Samsung TV. So here, it often will say, uh, you know, you've got to go to the menu. And it actually popped up on the screen. It said, go to menu and pick channel scan. So here we go. Go to TV. Make sure you're on TV. And then we want to go to, where is it? Antenna, air, perfect. And auto program, air. So now it's going to search over the air for all sorts of channels. And uh, when it's done, you'll know exactly how many digital and uh, analog stations you can pull in goes pretty quick. Let me just jump straight to the, the, the chase and show you the four antennas. I got 39 channels when I scanned this one. This one, I faced it exactly the right direction and got 144 channels. Huge difference at my distance. And 156 when I did the big one. So, of course, that's the one that I went and hung up outside. And uh, I hung it upside on a, a pole. I got a nice thick pole. They don't sell antenna poles at Home Depot anymore. So I got a thick aluminum pole, and I'm really glad that I did. I don't think this one's going to bend in the wind uh, because it's rock solid. Now, I did want to show you, I did manage to uh, integrate this. My next video is going to be about this. It's using Tableau. And Tableau, so I'll put a link to this. It's great. Uh, it is $6 a month, or you can, you can uh, make it even cheaper. Look, here's the Niners game that's on right now. If I go to the show... It'll show me all the different 49er games that are going to be televised. I have a ton to watch today. So what was I paying for? Well, it was for local broadcasts. It was for CNN and for sports. Well, you get a lot of the sports and there's no reason to spend 65 bucks a month. Look at the quality of this picture. I went ahead and grabbed a little bit of uh, footage. I didn't want to add, grab actual game. But as you can see, the quality of this picture is just it's actually better than cable. Cable compresses these digital broadcasts, and this does not. 
So we can actually watch uh, football and I'm actually recording it right now. The cool thing about these recordings, as you'll see in my next video, is that it will go ahead and pre-watch it and identify the commercials so that when you watch it back, it just skips the commercials. Now let's go to a quick unboxing. I'm going to show you what I found. All right, now we're going to be taking a look at the end top. It's called a 406 BV. And this is a, a bigger antenna. It's made for outdoors. It's also made for indoors. It does have a stand. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Alright. Comes with cabling. That's nice. It's a single unit. With antennas for VHF as well. It's very simple to set up. That's it, completely sealed. It does have a stand for indoor use. Let's go ahead and use that. There we go. It also comes with the mounting hardware. adapter and a plug. I like the fact that they're in white. It's going to fit the inside a little bit nicer. Let's hook this one up and rescan. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I found. A little attention to detail here. This makes it super easy to turn. This protects it from the rain. Some really nice features on this. It settles up in here so you don't have to see a little off in the illness. Oh, and these little bars, they extend out even further, so uh, you can get even more of the VHF signal. So UHF usually is picked up by here, VHF has to come out here. So depending on your scan of your area, you may want to be able to have that option. Alright, I also love these little pieces. I'm going to go ahead and attach this back here. It comes with all the mounting hardware that you need. Put this up on the pole and get even better scan with it. There you go. It's that easy. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is the big one. 85 mile range. This is the, where's the model number on this? The 400 BV. The stand for inside use, the mounting hardware, and here is the giant antenna. Oh, and more cord, of course. Antennas. Go ahead and plug it back in. First thing I'm going to do is put this base on there. 